Good morning, Brian Wolbert, Planning Section Chief Trainee. Morning of Monday, September 25th on the Six Rivers Lightning Complex with uh, what happened yesterday and the plan for today. Uh, yesterday's activity in Branch 10 uh, was mo moderate to low fire behavior. Um, with working within Division Yankee and Juliet and the structure group down here on the perch fire, uh, had folks out doing point source protection, uh, being in place for any action that they would need to take. Uh, main areas of focus were the Butler Flat area, the Hippo Rock area, and the area across from Windy Point. Folks were out there checking their systems and just being out there and engaged. Other areas of concern were on the Salmon River Road up by DP 115 Butler Flat uh, where the fire burned down there. Uh, we're getting significant rock fall onto the road, two to three foot diameter rocks as well as large diameter trees. At one point during night shift last night, uh, the road was closed for a period of time until we could work with Siskiyou County um, to get out there and get some of those rocks removed. We'll continue to work with Siskiyou County to keep the Salmon River Road open. There may be minor delays. As we go over onto Highway 96, a uh, similar situation, we're getting rock fall onto Highway 96, um, working with Caltrans to keep the road bladed off. They'll be out working shifts uh, 20, 24 hours a day, keeping the Highway 96 open. We did get into uh, Rocking Chair Road, uh, had an excavator in there to put, uh, break some berms and put a couple water bars in in advancement of uh, today's pending rain. As we come over into Branch 20, uh, Division November and Division Mike both had mastication and chipping efforts going on respectively on Bluff Creek Road and Slate Creek Road. Those operations will look for opportunities to continue those today. However, pulling firefighters back as the pending storm moves in and just making sure that they're in safe locations. As we come up into divisions Oscar and Lima, um, they were continuing to hold and mop up uh, previous day's tactical firing operations. Um, folks have gone back up and continue to monitor that area. Uh, we did have uh, some fire growth last evening on the Mosquito Fire north of the 13N Road, 13N13 13 Road uh, in the Rock Creek drainage. Um, we'll have crews up there engaging and look, monitoring where that growth was last evening. And as today comes, again, firefighters looking for opportunities to engage and then pulling back as the weather comes in just due to high winds and overhead hazards with falling rocks and trees. Thank you.